Hey there YouTube, this is Punk Rock Matt with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the 112 scale action portable 3A figure Hatchery Guard from the Tomorrow King series. I got this guy recently on eBay for $44.95 with free shipping. First things first, let's take a look at how tall he is. Coming in at just a hair over six inches. Here he is next to the super action statue Joseph Joestar. Joseph is a bit taller, but super action statue figures tend to be on the taller side. Here he is next to the Figuarts Comrade Drive, and they are just about the same size. And finally, here he is next to Marvel Legends Daredevil. He's pretty close to the same size. Next, we'll be going over the articulation, but before we get into that too much, I would just like to mention that the stand I had him on earlier did not come with him. This is a Bandai Tamashi Stage Act 4. I do suggest that if you're going to get any of the action portable 3A figures, you might want to get a stand. Although this guy can stand on his own, unlike Golden Dolphin or Fighting JC because of their boots, I don't have the most faith that these ankles are going to really hold out. And I'll kind of go into that more in a moment. Okay. He has a ball-jointed neck and a lot of good range of motion on that. I do try to move this guy's head too, too much because from looking at my Fighting JC figure, the neck peg is fairly thin. Don't want that to snap off. Inside his shoulder, there is a back and forth and an up and down swivel or hinge. He's on a socket and hinge shoulder. There's also a bicep cut double jointed elbow, a socket and hinge wrist, he has a double ab crunch, a lot of movement there, socket and hinge hips, the cloth pants do restrict the hips just a little bit, not a whole whole ton though, you can get some decent poses out of him with a little bit of finagling. There's a thigh cut, double jointed knee, and then down here at the ankle there is a double ball joint. And even though they're pretty good ball joints, I'm pretty sure I could pop that foot off there pretty easily. And I do think that over time with the weight of the figure, despite the fact that he's not very heavy, it could take a toll on those ankle joints, and that will, you know, end up making him fall over a lot, thus the stand. As far as accessories go, he only has two. It's these meat cleavers here. Take this one out. A lot of nice paint detail, very grimy. The Holes actually stamped out there. Really like these a lot. They have a very cool look to them. And he holds them pretty well. Uh, in his right hand, he holds that one perfectly. The. Oh, wait. Huh, <laughs> gotta turn it around. This is his left hand. In his right hand, it's a little bit loose. Um, if you turn it some. He'll hold it better, and so you won't have as much slipping or falling out or anything. But you have to finagle it a little more than, than this one right here. Um, he does have this belt with all these pouches. These can move around on the belt real well. And these little clasps, I guess, might work, but I've, I've not been daring enough to try to open one. 3A Hatchery Guard on the back of his shirt there. And a picture of a freaky little guy coming out of an egg. 
definitely like his clothes a lot. Good, good paint detail and everything. Really a nice looking figure. So when I got this guy on eBay, the auction said that he was a Tomorrow King clone. And at the time, I assumed that meant that he was a clone of the actual Tomorrow King. And I was kind of like, oh, I mean, this guy's cool, but I want the real Tomorrow King, you know? However, from looking at the 3A wiki, this guy is a Tomorrow King. They're all clones. I'll read you what this says here. Tomorrow Kings are male clones from the PopBot universe who were created by Luther Bean Jr., originally used for corporate takeovers. These Elvis Ronin were created to slay all monsters and ghouls with Luther Bean Sr.'s ion engine that escaped Earth. They are also used to fight the Mortis. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. And further it says, Made for war against robots, genetically bred autistic warriors who cannot dress themselves, but can shear off a robot's head with nary a thought, alone, even though their brothers number in the millions, yes, we are doing fine, like the last time, like the last time. They face death from steel, but do not know how to say hello. Today's princes, tomorrow's kings. And I think that's pretty cool. So, uh... If you are like, oh, I want to get the actual Tomorrow King, they're all Tomorrow Kings. You're not missing out. And I definitely do not regret getting this guy. I really love the way he looks. He's a great figure. Definite, uh, you know, the paint apps and the sculpt are awesome. The clothing is really unique. I like his weapons a lot. Um, he's got, you know, some issues like all the 3A figures I have. The articulation can be hindered a bit by the clothing sometimes. They don't feel incredibly durable, but they're just awesome figures. And I, I just can't say enough about them as far as they look so cool and unique. And uh, I really just love them. So if you've been thinking about getting a Tomorrow King figure and you've seen the prices on eBay or wherever and they're a little much for you and you find a hatchery guard for a decent price, I would definitely suggest it. And I hope if you were mulling over getting this guy, I helped you make up your mind. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Take it easy.